2021 has had its share of setbacks from the floods to the storm damage to the deadly mass shooting at Oxford High School. Whatever it looks like, whatever that darkness is for us, we want people to know that there is joy and there is hope and there is light that's found in Christ. When we start to sing, O Come All Ye Faithful, and the people uh, begin to sing and rejoice, it's all worth it in that moment. This Christmas weekend is a chance to lift up the positive in our lives. Across the country and Metro Detroit, churches will welcome people for Christmas Eve and Christmas Day services. At St. Aloysius Church in downtown Detroit, we sat down with Father Mario Amore. The message always for us at Christmas is a message of hope and joy. In the Catholic Church, the Christmas season comes with pageantry. Their song and decoration, but the heart of the season resonates in the birth of Jesus. He was born so that he could die to free us from our sins. And so it's the story of our salvation that our God is not a God who is far away, but our God is a God who is very near to us. For some parishioners, this weekend will be the first in-person Christmas service in two years. The pandemic kept people at home. Some watched mass online. Despite a contagious Omicron variant and rising COVID case numbers, churches are making precautions to make people feel comfortable. Many of our churches have designated sections where people uh, who want to wear masks can sit so that they're not exposed to people who are not wearing masks. Um, we are still not receiving communion um, in, in the form of the precious blood or the consecrated wine. Christmas masses will happen from 4 p.m. to midnight all over the Archdiocese of Detroit. Check out the MassFinder.org website for a church time and location near you. In downtown Detroit, Brandon Hudson, Fox 2 News.